or should I say it's 19 minutes before the special program begins, so before I jump right into it, there are a few things that I kind of want to talk about. Um, as to what what to expect during uh, the special program in version 4.6. So as you can see, here are my my predictions for the special program for version 4.6, and so these are the things that I'll I'll. I'll be expecting in uh, special program version 4.6. So the first, the very first thing that I will predict is final area in Fontaine will be unlocked. I will expect the final area in Fontaine to be unlocked in version 4.6. And so, if that's the case, right, Fountain of Lucine that has been capped as of this very moment to level 40 will be uncapped to maximum level which is at level 50. The same could be said for the fourteen which worship statue where you have to collect all the hydro killers I believe. Uh, I, I hope I have that's the that's the, the name I remember. Where you have to collect all the remaining uh, hydro killers at the green area in order for the fourteen worship statue to reach the maximum level. So uh, I expect the new Slash final area in Fontaine to be unlocked in version 4.6. That will be number one. Number two, considering the fact that Alcino will be available in version 4.6, right? Most likely, we'll be getting a new Fontaine story quest. It could either be Furina focus, or it could be Alcino focus, or it could be both. It's either one of the either one of these three. But at the very least, right, it should be at least Alachino focus. Or to be precise, right, Alachino will be getting her own story quest, just like how every single other new characters did. Just like the likes of um Shen Yun in the pa uh in the past batch, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no no no, that's right. The last batch was Chiori, then the patch before was Shen Yun, and then before that is Navia. So at the very least. Expect a new story, uh, a character story quest for Alecino. But I'm not sure whether we'll be getting a new um, 14 story quest or not. But we should, we should get at least a 14 story quest because, considering the fact that they might unlock the new area in 14, it's most likely we'll be getting a new 14 story quest. It could either be a epilogue or it could be an expansion. Uh, I'm not really sure because I didn't watch the leaks and whatnot. I I don't I don't entertain leaks because me entertaining leaks is one way of saying I'm literally disrespecting the, the developers. That's why I'm saying. Which is why I never entertain leaks as much as I can. So and as a matter of fact, I have absolutely no idea how Alucino's gameplay works. I really have no clue. I know she will. The latest character that will be available thanks to Genshin Street Marketing, but how she, f how her gameplay is, how she attacks, how her skill, how her ultimate and whatnot, yada 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 yada, I have absolutely no freaking idea. Okay, because I do, I try my best not to avoid leaks as much as possible. But these are my predictions. These are purely Magua. What I what I will expect in this what to be, what to expect in version 4.6 special program, and so back to the um, the, to the second topic, which is the story quest. So at the very least, you got uh, you should be expecting at least an Alucino story quest, at least an Alucino story quest. Whether we'll be getting a new Fuina story quest or a new Forty story quest, or I have absolutely no idea. Only. Only, only Genshin has the answers. So that's pretty much um, topic number two. And now topic number three, which is the character banner. So based on how Genshin's character banner, the pattern and how their pattern works, most likely Alan Shino will be in the first half. Most likely. So it's very high likely that Alan Shino will be in the first half. Because when you think about it right, Chiyoi was in the first half of um, version 4.0. Five. Uh, um, Xian Yun was in the first half of version 4.4. 4.3 was Navia. 4.3 was Navia. Navia was in the first half 
of her of the character and her equation for point three. Then Frina was in the first half of version four point two. So it is based on the pattern that Genshin is doing right. Safe to assume Alachino will be in the first half of the character the character. Who else will be in the other the end? Who else will be in the first half? I have absolutely no idea. It's most likely it will be a male character, but I have no idea who it is. But at the very least, right, you should at least expect Alechino to be in the first half of the character banner. Considering the fact that how Genshin, Genshin places their anime characters in every single uh, character banner, and then you should expect we should expect um, Alechino to be in the first half of the character banner. And for the second half, half right, this again, this is purely my speculation, my prediction. I didn't get this from any leaks and whatsoever because once again, I have to highlight, I didn't watch any leaks or whatsoever prior to this. So, considering the fact that most likes, uh, most likely we'll be getting a new, or should I say, the final area in Ponte, most likely we'll be getting a Frida rerun in the second half most likely okay but since uh then again it, this is just purely my perspective but i know it's a little maybe too soon um uh, i know it's been months since Rina banner came out ever since like what end of last year i believe but i won't be surprised that she'll be getting a, a banner rerun in the second half of version 4.6 considering the fact that we might be getting a new area in Fontaine and since Alan, we most likely will be getting a Alan Chino to request Furina is definitely involved in one way or another so I won't be surprised that Furina will, will get a character we run uh, in this uh, version 4.6 and it will happen during the second half as for who else will appear in the character banner, I I absolutely no idea. But at least we know that uh, one of the two characters that will be available in the first half of the character banner will be Alan Chino, and the other one will, it most likely will be a male character. But I have absolutely no idea who it is. As for the second um the second half, most likely it will be Rina. And then it'll be another male character. We'll just see what's the official announcement. And that's um, pretty much what I can talk about for the character banner. Weapon banner most likely will be getting a new um, weapon, which is Alachino signature weapon. But then again, once again, I have to highlight, I have absolutely no, no idea how, what Alachino's gameplay is. Therefore, I have no idea what her weapon is. But we should at least expect her signature weapon to be available in the first half of the weapon banner. I think that's pretty much what I can talk about for the character banner. That's number 3. And then number 4 which is the flagship event. Because as we all know, every single uh, version update there will always be a flagship event. 4.3 is basically uh, inner Zuma characters coming over to Fontaine. And then um, 4.4 was the Lantern Ride Festival, which takes place in Lyria. Then that, that's pretty much um, a collaboration between um, Fontaine characters and Inazuma. 4.4, I'm sorry, 4.4 is the Lantern Ride. 4.5 was basically a a filler up where we get um, Chiori's backstory. We do get a we do get an, an event in Monster, but I'm kind of surprised that it's not a collaboration event between Fontaine and Monster. It's practically an event regarding alchem alchemy, and that's pretty much it. And as a matter of fact, I didn't even, I didn't even finish that that event because I'm pretty sure at the moment of time I was totally occupied by Honkai Star Wars version 2.1 uh, main quest. Which is why I, I wasn't able to finish the help me event. But at the very least, I, I got the weapon. I rest, I got the weapon. Rest assured, I got the weapon. I got it fully um, refined to rank five. Rest assured. But I didn't finish the the rest of the event because I feel like that event is kind of time consuming to be real. 
and it's just even though that event kind of reminds me of the days I played Atelier Ryza, which is one of my favorite RPG games of all time. Even though I haven't played the third one, the third game yet, which I will sometime later in the future. Still, the the, the event you say was kind of like, ah, uh, it was kind of decent to me. Very honest. It was kind of decent. For the flagship event in version 4.6, most likely it will take place at Inazuma. Most likely it might take place at sumeru as well but i have a feeling that the one in sumeru will most likely will be at version 4.7 where they most likely will drop at least a teaser of how a um, netland is but we'll, we'll talk about it once uh version 4.7 special program drops in two months time it's most likely will take place in inazuma but what is the flagship event I have absolutely no idea. No, absolutely no idea. But it most likely will take place at Inazuma because we already have a flagship event in um, uh, in Yuya, in version 4.4 and then we already have a Mondstadt flagship event in version 4.5 so it could, it's most likely I, uh, the flagship event for version, version 4.6 is most likely will take place either in Inazuma or Sumeru. But most likely, I feel like it's gonna take place in the animals because uh, based on the thumbnail right over here, right? Considering the fact that Ito is will be part of the the guest that will be doing the, the presentation for version 4.6, right? It's very high likely that the flagship event will take place at Inazuma. It's very high likely. Which means the flagship event for version 4.7 will most likely take place at Sumeru. That's how I see it. And I think that's pretty much um, what I uh, what my predictions for um, version 4.6. Let me just minimize that again. And based on this wallpaper right, yeah it's very high likely that we'll, we will be 100 percent getting at least an Alan Chino story quest. At least an Alan Chino story quest. And then as a matter of fact, right? Genshin should have done this down like way, way, way earlier. Uh, I don't know when did they start because I think the last time I reacted to um, a special program in Genshin, right? They didn't do any countdown at all, which is why it was kind of disappointing. And I had to like refresh the, um, the freaking um, page and then only the, the stream appears. So I'm kind of glad that uh, they finally put this um, countdown before before the program starts. It has been millennia since the fall of Remuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire yeah, known new area. as Remurian. Just as I mentioned earlier on. Remurians believed their king, Remus, this is would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the high sea. However, the god king's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Thus no. did the god king derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land, and composed a splendorous symphony based upon it. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But today... Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program! Let's take a look at the trailer! All right. Trailer On occasion, time. we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like oh. that, and the feeling is mutual. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Yep. Something has come up. Wait. And since it pertains Sino? to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan shrouded in secrecy. 
We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our Lord. Alejandro. That's how I gave my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan. She's supposed to like lose a lot of members. Like me, I did not Maru. anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Neverland, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within the Fontaine. Music though, holy crap. Whoa, what the hell? Transfixed. Everlasting as the moon. An order once given cannot be Smeru? rescinded. Wait. Is that new Do character? you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. So it's most likely you have a... Uh... Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. Wait, I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic what the picture hell? indeed. Wait. Allow me to remind you, Helen. You among us are willing we'll be getting to an Alatino boss fight? We I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned Why? to its cleanest form. Good things come to oh children who do God. as they're told. So I do hope you decide to tag along. We're getting a boss new there boss are many fight? dangers ahead, and I for one don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from father. So why? Oh. Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty. Damn, she's I would say it is. And no sacrifice shall be And she got made. beans, dude! Dude! Alan Shino in boss form looks badass. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. <laughs> Yay! Welcome, everyone! Yay! Yo, yo, welcome! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. But just in case you needed any convincing, we've invited their voice actors to share some information with us today. Hey, everyone! My name is Erin Avet. I'm the voice of Arla Kino, the father of the House of the Hearth. You might also recall that she's a Fatui Harbinger known as the Knave. I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. Yeah, hi folks, I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and he's also a member of the House of the Hearth. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. Yeah. And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, we've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice hi. of Arataki Ito. <laughs> What up? It's me, Max Middleman. Hey, everybody, what's going on? My bros, my guys, my dudes. Dude, so good. Right, Are you excited to be here? Vibes, vibes, vibes. <laughs> vibes for days. All right, well, without any further delay, let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. Yeah. I've heard that travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Aaron, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Okay, this sounds like everything that we already know from the game. Uh, is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the Knave, mm -hmm. the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Let's do it! Yes, let's do it! Okay, okay, first, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the Knave is? Oh, no. 
Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. <laughs> um, I guess during the Fontaine Archon quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? Mm -hmm. I totally get where she was coming from. Mm. But that's just an outsider's point of view, right? <laughs> what is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. <laughs> okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Strict. Um, hmm. All right, it sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason, though... The kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, tough, and patient than other children who are their age, you know? Mm, that's actually kind of sad, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Who hurt this knave? I want to know. Why are they this way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because she was traumatized? Ooh, okay. Now that's very sharp of you, oh, no. but let's keep Arlequino's secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I do have a question, though. Why did the children call her father? Ah, well, if you're curious about Arlequino's past, then you'll have to find your answer in the game. That's fair. Her story quest yep. in this Purgatorius yes, I, will be released with version 4.6. Now, I don't want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? But I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate Arlequino's unique charm after they've experienced her entire story. Yeah. Okay. Version 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, the Focused Experience Mode. Ooh, now, if you use experience. the feature while playing Arlequino's story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Mm, okay. So hopefully this mode will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Nice. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And in the future, this function will become available for more and more quests. Besides the story okay. quest, I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines because Aaron's kind of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we'll finally be able to hear what she thinks about the other Harbingers, too. Yes, I selfishly also think that will be cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next, let's take a look at Arlequino's elegant yet deadly fighting style. Ooh. Right. <laughs> Intrigue! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. Well, what the hell? I can't promise you'll like what you see. Transfixed! She uses a sight. So, it's most likely pull out a spear. It's most likely a pull out. What the? What the hell this was that? Is where I think this is a... Um, Oh, oh, she's so cool. That was awesome. <laughs> I like how she glides. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she's very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. Everything she does is so effortless. I know, right? Yes. All right. Well, if we're going to talk about Arlequino's combat abilities, then we're going to have to talk about the bond of life mechanic. Uh, you like might have been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Mm -hmm. Does anyone still remember what a bond of life is? One of life is. Hold on. Yo, uh, are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Let's listen to what she has to say. <laughs> Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, oh, it will absorb okay. any healing that your character receives. So... They can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very good, student. <laughs> when Arlequino <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. Nice. And while she's in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait a second. It's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> so you're saying that she'll deal wait. more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, 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 wait a second. <laughs> wait. No, wait, I get it. Wait, so uh, uh, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase yeah, down seeing, enemies who can put a bond of life on her. I'm seeing the the That sounds kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> on her, on her uh, and that bar. brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies, it also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will mm. damage them periodically. And when she mm. uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. Okay, hold on. hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So how does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her attack oh, and okay. her current bond of life. Uh, uh, also, her. Thanks to one of her talents, how, uh, while Arlequino is in works. combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but okay. also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Ooh. Oh, so I, that seems like she's as ruthless to herself yeah, as yeah, she yeah. is to her mm. enemies. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> she's kind of a savage. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So Arlequino well, even has a special well, kind of movement whenever though, she uses her is. charged attack, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring what? her enemies. Yes. Yeah, and for putting some serious pressure on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes sick. in version 4.6. You guys ready? Ooh, let's yeah. do it. So excited. All right. Okay. During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlequino yep, and, and Linny will both enjoy a drop rate boost. Yeah, I, I The all-new five-star polearm uh, Crimson Moon the, semblance um, will also become uh, available. Yeah. Also, It'll the Wanderer and Baiju will return in the second huh. phase, so be sure to keep an eye out. Yay! Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. Huh. <laughs> okay, so Aaron and Damon, do you have any other news you'd like to share? <gasps> Actually, wrong. I do. Let's mm -hmm. discuss the new weekly boss. Oh that's my gosh. right. The we knave. were just talking about how the Knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders, but in special circumstances, she will reveal Which means another Which means Rina has zero involvement <laughs> in this entire That's right. Of Are you ready to see a new Knave? knave? Yes! Yeah. I am ready! I'm so ready! Alright. Oh my god, the music! The music's so good! Oh my god, the music's so good! And from the looks of it, right, it would be very similar as to how the, the Rider Shogun boss fight. It would be very similar concept. Yeah, right, she will have different forms. She will have a normal form and her ultimate form. Just like Raiden Shogun. The, just like the Raiden Shogun boss fight in uh, Mr. Species in version 2.5. This should be very interesting. This should be very interesting. And oh my god, the music! The music, man, holy crap! 10 out of 10! Music's 10 out of 10, and oh my gosh! Wow. Not even Linny and Fremenet have seen this side of her before. Mm. So, the Knave is accepting challengers now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so elegant, but also super duper dangerous. Yeah. She's so, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it feels even more badass with twice the badassitude. <laughs> It's not so simple to see the knave's other side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were yeah. giving Whoa. you an ordinary training lesson, waiting to counter your attacks. Whoa, yeah, what the hell? Like she'll dodge That's all of badass. our attacks like a phantom if we're out of her immediate range. That's totally yeah. badass. It feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Instead, she hopes that they'll be able to take the initiative even if their opponent is their own father. The outside world will not show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. 
If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks Singer against you will be faves. enhanced. But this if image, you manage to outheal the bond like? of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Ah. Don't the bone wings on her back look like spiders? <laughs> yes, yes, that's <laughs> it. Like it. Oh my gosh, it's like she has total control of her prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's kind of creepy being oh the hunted one for once. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Absolutely I think we should stop the introduction here. And badass. Let's leave oh some my space gosh. for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so I know that many but travelers it's... will be wondering about this. That it's like the next like boss form boss is tied to her story like... quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the because challenge. But in the, now um... we have a quick challenge feature for weekly Trounce well, domain bosses. Yeah. Yeah. Right. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or higher, they'll be able to challenge her directly and then by going to the adventure handbook, going and to the domains tab, selecting ball, Trounce Domains, and pressing Quit name. Challenge. Wow. Oh, that's cool. That's a yeah. nice so it's little shortcut like to the battle. Yeah! Fight. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. Where... <laughs> that is really valuable information the to have. Boss fight, <laughs> and it she also comes looks as like a, it's my turn to deliver ball. some news. And then once Two the, new the, artifact the sets will become available in version 4.6. She would Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy and Unfinished Reverie. What? Travelers who are interested in them should stay tuned for more information. Cool. Oh, oh you're yeah. finished. Okay, wait, how come your update was so <laughs> short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. <laughs> okay, okay, I actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Ooh. And for some reason, Sino's uh, got mixed up in it. Hey, how did you know I about that? I did not that? see this coming at all. This picture is right there. I did not see this oh, coming at all. Oh, right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, Sino wanted to investigate personally. Was this the reason why Alejandro has been out of action on YouTube as of lately? Identity. And the two of them share a close connection. Oh, sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going That's on. That's right. Is this a case where we get to use violence <laughs> if the situation gets too complicated? Yes. These are all very good guesses. <laughs> but Wait. I'll offer you one clue that you probably Does wouldn't be able to guess a... otherwise. A mysterious youngster with Rewind connections to the mystery will make his debut during the case. Oh. And Sino's friends Most are not just character will be who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. So okay. yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, then be sure to check out Sino's second story quest, Lupus Arius Act 2. Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking underneath the sands. In due time, of course. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of great news, I think Damon also has some important information to share. Wait, wait, wait. Really? Wait, yes. wait, wait. What are we wait. waiting for? We've just presented Sinus. too much information too quickly. Can, can, we, can we take a break, please, so we can digest <laughs> all of it, please? Oh, Damon, please. please. He can't keep getting away I with this. <laughs> right. No, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Let's check out the first redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. That's what I thought. <laughs> All right, first redemption code thing. Hold on. The music, though. I'm getting an uneasiness vibe from this music. Okay, so... Okay, let's um, process all of all the stuff that, um, that's happening so far. So it is confirmed that Alan Tino will be in the first half of the character banner. But my speculation that Fulina will be in the second half was, to was totally wrong because I was kind of expecting um, Furina will be available in second half. Considering the fact, but th but then again, right? Will we be getting a new area in um in Fontaine? Right. Hey, welcome back, everyone. And I was so, right. We've we already we told you the story a new with Kino and the House of the Hearth. So why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning of the program? 
I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. <laughs> encore, encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Mm. <sighs> Though, would there even be much to see on such a small island? Well, yeah, I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally, right? It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye, right? Yeah, I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So how big was such a oh glorious boy. and prosperous nation, really? Which means we oh, must now that you say that, I mean, another... this little town looks a whole lot bigger. No, no that's a neat trick. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this is where we'll meet a talking cat. With its guidance, uh? we will be able to see the civilization that vanished thousands of years ago. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Okay. Say anything for a talking cat. We say we'll be getting another <laughs> long As Aaron quest. mentioned at the beginning of the program, oh King Remus composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm. I. I actually. I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get that's it. okay. <laughs> I will explain it in a few words. So you'll just Max, have to learn please. about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself, but you'll arrive at the Remoria ruins with the cat. The kingdom's remnants slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't reach. You'll meet a dragon in the deep seas. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Dun. So you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remoria. You'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal time in places where it stopped. So oh, these cool. powers will let you interact with specific objects in mm -hmm. the ruins. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess of the faded castle, you... silently proclaiming this the immortality the, uh, and glory of a great civilization. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient percent. ruler. Oh yeah, that's this right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. boss you can earn all sorts of materials if you manage percent. to beat it in a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so hyped for it. <laughs> oh too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. <laughs> that was great, Damon. Yeah. Wait, but real quick, so quick question. Me, How do we even get to such a uh, remote little island? That for... is a great question. Travelers you know? who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, will automatically unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petricor. Ah. Hopefully this helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, so exciting. I know. So cool. All right, oh, that's all the information that we have about Fontaine for now. And now, outside of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It Inazuma? seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting popular in Inazuma. Rock and roll. Oh, so okay. Yeah. Looks like we'll be getting a All right, let's all take a short break before we get into the next section. Take a look at today's second redemption code. Yeah. All right. But that was a little pass. Okay, so I was right about the... Uh, we will be getting a new area in Fontaine after all. But I was kind of expecting Furina will be involved um, when it comes to unlocking a new area. But turns out no. As it turns out right, new area is basically we will be getting a new long-winded world quest. Ah, uh, okay. So, looks like we won't, we won't be getting a Furina rerun for quite a while. It might happen once Netland drops. I'm, I'm not so sure, man. I'll, I'll be real with you guys. I'm not so sure uh, when it's. Welcome you know, back, everyone! Hey! <laughs> okay. I and hear I was right. that a musical tour is the coming to Inazuma, event and the is organizer is none all. other than Arataki right. Ito himself. <laughs> <laughs> Max, would you like to tell us more about it? It would be my Otherwise, absolute pleasure, Padre. What was the reason of inviting Max so I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. 
What was of the course, reason? He participated in last year's Winter Olympics. That definitely has a reason mm -hmm. right? why. That's right. Yeah. Both um, Hutao and Shinji performed there. That's right. And this time, it's an epic tour yeah, for the ages, organized and by none other than Ito and organized by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh my gosh, and even the concert name um, sounds version. really epic. And I was oh, right. Yeah. No, the way he says, iridescent, arataki, rocking ah, from fight toward the force of awesomeness, really gives out nice. feeling of rock and roll. Just yeah. I do not have and the theme to, of this um, concert is about life. Specifically, I'm, it's about a brave and is Miko, like, who, who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Aww, that's so cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Yeah. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. <gasps> what? Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's going to be awesome. Oh yes, it will be. And here's more exclusive news for you. Yeah. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical instrument to our travelers uh, called the, musical the Night like Wind the that Horn. Are, so is, if you enjoy playing music in chance. real life, or especially if you enjoy this playing music the, in the game, you should check um, it out. I'm looking forward was, to seeing more amazing performances the, from all the, the great musicians event. out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> All right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one, extreme carnival ensemble. We can practice getting into the flow with some rhythm games while the stage is still uh, coming together. Yep, wow, those keys look back. really unique. Yeah, they really are. And the second task is called the Trillion Trinket Trawl. Mm. Say that three times fast. The Trillion Trinket Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. Ooh. We can't have a rockin' <laughs> music festival without a rockin' venue. So, travelers will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with his list of items. It's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And lastly, <laughs> we have the Meeting of Melodies. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. After listening to their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Oh, so we'll be able to hear them sing. That oh, is super exciting. Yeah. Is yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt, this is interesting. Tense and thrilling too. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Ooh. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say, Wind Trace, Seekers and Strategy has finally arrived? Oh, yes! yes. I love Wind Trace. And, and yeah, it can get this a little tense back. at times. <laughs> well, the, the new name implies that the game has undergone some mechanics changes, yeah? Yeah, you're correct. That's very intuitive of you. Thank yeah, you. you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels oh, and hunters, this. just like before but there are a few new rules. Ooh. Yeah, when rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short period of time. Now, they will be automatically freed after like, their time uh, out, but also their friends can try to help them escape by the zone daylight. Early. Yeah. But is... if you get sent to jail twice, you're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> oh, that does this sound is... tense and thrilling. <laughs> right. yeah, that's not this all. Is very oh no, by each round will have six signaling devices, which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing the themselves. Day by the rebels' um... goal is to repair these devices while also Rebel. avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Oh, and rebels can work together to repair these devices. This is hot. And hunters will either need to prevent the rebels from repairing the signaling devices, or they can simply eliminate their opponents. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets Whoa. it. She gets it. But the next part is even more thrilling. When more Rebels are fixing a signaling device, the I device see. being repaired will enter the high-speed signaling state. What does it mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. Oh, so that means that repairing the devices will expose your location. Oh, oh my gosh. Crap. <laughs> it's these sort of unexpected risks that can be the most nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. This is going to be super interesting to play. Yeah. yeah. This no, is absolutely. And in another event, man. travelers will receive a rather strange this, commission. That, that's really dead by daylight in Genshin form. Strange. What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients, and he wants to make friends with a pyro regisfine. Huh? Oh yeah, and not just a pyro regisfine, he also wants to befriend a primo geovision, and a jade plume terror shroom, and the millennial pearl seahorse. 
Huh? Excuse me? You guys heard me the first time. <laughs> what yeah, the? I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently returned from a trip to Natlon, and he started getting some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself up by having what? his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian companions. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Apparently, Wait, these Randy has a did you say beans. that he came back from Natlon? Listen, listen, Damon. If you want to oh, know the okay, details, okay. go check out the event <laughs> when the Virgin is I'm live, sorry. all right? <laughs> but for now, it's time for me to introduce the game club. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Okay. Here you. All right, you got it. <laughs> you got In it. In this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. If you've got the guts, then you can take on fearless difficulty. You can also talk to Ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies. So if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Both active strategies and long-term strategies are available. You can trigger active strategies at will. However, mm -hmm. your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number of strategies that Ooh, you've picked. Ooh, that's cool. So, yeah. So you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come out on top. Play to your strengths. Wow. Noted. And moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event, Vibro Crystal Applications. Ooh, it seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating Again. crystals in order to generate different effects. Aaron, I am so impressed by how intuitive you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. That means that so much incredible. coming. <laughs> yeah, so well, going back to the I guessing. meant it. Each round requires two teams. Oh. Before each battle, you can set up Vibro Crystal Harmonics plans for each of your teams. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine transmitter crystals and receiver crystals. Hmm. Basically, oh, the transmitter again. crystal decides the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal determines the buff this that your team gets as a result. Uh, By connecting the, them in different the combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. Point. It's your custom so buff plan. Wow. Spot on, yeah. Sarah Mella Cruz. Thank you. And <laughs> you gain a harmonic point for each time that you trigger a harmonic effect. You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Each challenge will have different trial characters, so you can choose the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Also, the Genius Invocation TCG event, The Forge Realms Temper, will be she returning in version 4.6. The Heated Ooh. Battle Mode will also receive Ascension. an update, so don't miss out, Ascension. duelists. <laughs> And there's going to be an overflowing mastery event, so you can more yeah. easily train up the characters who need the extra boosty boost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much, Max. You just did an amazing yes. job. That was impressive. Thank you, Sarah. All that. Mm -hmm. oh, and thanks, guys. since you introduced so many events in one go, I feel like you deserve a little break. I you know what? Oh. I yes, you agree. I was gonna well, say I, I agree. agree. So, I agree. agree. <laughs> so how about now? Let's check out the the, the last, last redemption, redemption code. code. Yay! Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> so I was right after all. We will be getting a fleet flagship event that takes place in Inazuma. I was right after all because I was thinking. Hold on a second. Why is Ito's voice actor doing right over here? And then the, the, the thought comes to mind, right? The flashing event is definitely something that involves um, Inner Zumba. But then I was kind of like, wait, what a second. Oh, why? When I was watching the trailer, like, wait, why is Sino over here? Doesn't. I was thinking, wait, does that mean that you uh, will be getting a flashing event in Sumeru? But no, it, it turns out, right? Sino will be getting uh, his own story quest, which. The reveal kind of feels a little out of place. Alan Shino makes sense because Alan Shino makes sense, but I just don't understand what was the reason why they decided to put in Sino's request in version 4.6. Welcome back, everyone. And of course, they, Next they, they up, we're talk presenting about some information about improvements for we're different doing in game the, systems. The, the nice. discussion uh -huh. of we have some days updates ago? for the Serena Teapot, such as the Quick Obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue where you can use one click to purchase any missing components and then craft your desired piece. Wow. Ooh. 
Ooh, that does actually sound very convenient. So convenient, <laughs> so convenient. The avatar system will also be updated, so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends as your profile display. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm hmm. Oh, and there's Arama. You bet. And the Thunderbird, and uh -huh. Rue, uh, and more. This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Treasure compasses have also been updated. Treasure its compasses. markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. The compasses will also include information oh. about different map layers. Sweet. Oh, way more yeah. intuitive. Mm -hmm. It's Why time to eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Heck yeah! yeah. Exploration! Oh, yeah. Why the the yes. Now that we've gone over some updates to the earlier, game man. systems, what it's the time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. <laughs> Let's go music! Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Genshin Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and related content. Ooh, yeah. yes. mm -hmm. Music is my favorite! So hyped. <laughs> oh no, y'all! It looks like there's nothing it's... left for us to present. Oh. I know, yeah. I know. So I think that That's means fun. it's time for this I'm special program to come to a close. Oh. Say it's not so. Is, is there anything else that y'all would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, who ooh. are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have Ven answer uh, right now in this moment. Um, it's okay. You've got now. this. Okay. You've got this. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll make it easy it and still. just um, be very selfish and say that I'm just so incredibly excited for our Lakino. Um, yes. We did we did a lot of work with her. I think she's really cool, and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. Yes. She's so oh, cool. Totally. She's so freaking cool, and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> but I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things, mm. and that's all I'm going to say right now, guys. Yes. Yeah, it's Yay. so hard to talk about this without spoiling anything, but I'm so, so excited for you guys to experience this concert. It yeah. is so good, and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of, of Genshin Impact than I've had in, in a long time recording. So, oh, um, oh my gosh, it's that's be amazing. Fun. <laughs> right. Wow, I'm excited for all of those things too, and I'm also really pumped for the Wind Trace Festival because I love it so much. <laughs> and it sounds like there's a ton of awesome things coming in version 4.6, so I hope Seriously. everyone's excited. Yes, yes I am. Yeah. Yay! Wow, okay. I just have to say, this was so fun being here with you today. I'm so <laughs> glad I got to be here with <laughs> you guys. It's just like guys. such a great time. <laughs> so thanks for being here. And I think that's all we've got for this program. So we will see you all in game. See you guys Bye. in the game. Bye. 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 See you later. Love you. Bye. <laughs> and that's the end of of the special program for version 4.6 so the things that i'll be looking forward to the most is definitely Arakino's um story quest and i would definitely want to check out a uh, boss fight without a shadow or not because goddamn a boss form looks badass as hell i, I will say this and I'm not really look i'm not really looking forward to Sino's story quest to be new but I should at least check, it, uh, check out his uh, story quest on what the hell is what the hell is going on. But to be real, right, it kind of feels a little out of place. To be very honest, it kind of feels a little out of place. It would be better if the it would be much better if Sino's story quest takes place when a dream whenever there's a flashing event that takes place in Subaru. Firstly, I feel that it would be, it would be much better that way. Because it feels just so out of the face of having a Sumeru character getting a new story quest when the main focus from the way I see it right is pointing character and the flashy event takes place in, in, in Azuma. So it kind of feels out of place to be fair on this. But I have a feeling that it, it, it's pretty much a setup for um, revealing the new character for version 4.7. Because I believe there's a new character that revealed during um, Sino's story quest that we have, I have absolutely no idea what the who or what his name is. 
So yeah, I believe that they're definitely setting up for uh, for the flagship event in uh, Sumeru that will take place in version 4.7. That's how I see it. So, uh, as for the flagship event itself, um, yeah, I, I kind of expected that it's very, it takes place in Inazuma, but I didn't expect it is going to be very music heavy. It's very music heavy, so... I don't understand, but I will I will keep my expectations as as possible. But I will definitely will be doing that event because I'll be friendly with you guys. To this day, I do not have Goro in my account. I don't. I really don't. Because Goro is not my priority list. I'll be friendly with you guys. But I don't mind getting Goro, but it's just, it's just that he's just not on my priority, my priority list. So. Doing this event and getting um, having Goro into my party should be a fine addition to my collection. So yeah, I think that's pretty much um, what I can talk about for the special program of version 